We already knew we had been ordered to leave the building and go and be with our families and take care of our families. But for any of us that were medically trained, we knew that this was our time now to uh, put that training to work and respond. We were in polyester uniforms, patent leather shoes, and we're using our t-shirts that we wet down in order to breathe through to keep the smoke from overcoming us. And we needed to go to a corridor that uh, was adjacent to where the building had collapsed and the fire doors that come across the Pentagon to shut off the air so it doesn't keep uh, burning had all at this point come across the corridor. And the first one that we hit, instead of them coming wide, you know, coming right open, it just stuttered. And so we put somebody there and I, we moved in with the next one. That, but the, the next one, not only did it burn you to the touch, but it didn't even open. And it was at that point, as I was the ranking person in the team, that everyone looked at me for guidance. They wanted to know, are we gonna keep going? And uh, you know, it, it was the hardest decision I've ever had to make. Um, knowing that there's people that we could save on the other side, but you have to make that decision whether or not to keep going and to save the people that are there and maybe, you know, hopefully perhaps find another way around or uh, other people to save as well. And uh, after it was all done, they mapped out where um, some of the casualties were found and it was uh, very close to that door that some of the casualties were found and we just, we couldn't save them.